In this video, we're going to be replacing the mirror assembly on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. Take this cover off. You can use a trim tool. Just get behind here. It's just clipped in on the back. There's a cover right here. Just use a pick or a straight blade screwdriver. Just get underneath. Take that cover off. It's just clipped in on the back side. Underneath here, do the same. Just use the pick or a screwdriver and pop that cover off. Take the lock knob off. Just use a pick. Just get underneath here and slide it up. Now take this bolt out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. And there's two bolts down here. Take those out. Now take those out. You can use a magnet. I'm going to take the switch off. You can leave it on and take the door panel off and just disconnect it from underneath, but it's a little bit easier to get to the connectors if you take it off now. Just use a trim tool, get underneath there, pop it up. Stand in the front. Slide it out and you can disconnect the connectors. Push down on the tab. and slide them all out. And using a trim tool, you just have to pop the clips. And grab the panel. And pull this cable off. You want to use some needle nose pliers. And there's some clips right here. This one is messed up a little bit. So you just want to push on those two little tabs and then slide the cable with the ball out. And then slide the panel out. Now grab the vapor barrier. You want to pull this down. It is just taped on with some butyl tape. Just peel it down slowly and carefully. That now remove this wire. Just use a trim tool. Just pop those connectors off or retainers off. And pop this foam out. Now there's three nuts right here. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket. Take those out. And then before you take the last one out, just support the mirror just so it doesn't so it doesn't fall. And grab the mirror and pop it out. There might be a little retainer at the top of the mirror holding it on. And just slide it out. And there it is. Now slide the wiring harness through the hole and just fish it through. Just make sure it's all lined up. And take the, make sure you have a nut in your hand while you're doing this and you can get that started. It's lined up. And put the other screws on. And we'll just snug these down. Not too tight. Just snug. That's all the way on. And take the wiring harness. You want to push these push pins back in. 
and push the foam back in. Now I'll slide the door panel back in place and just slide the wiring harnesses through here. You need to connect the connect this cable over here. That's going to go through there and then pop in place just like that. up on the door panel. There's a groove on the top. You need to slide that into the weather strip. And then with the door push pins lined up, you want to re-secure the door panel. Take the switch, connect all the connectors. They're all labeled here. You just match the color up. White and black. I'll line this up. this up and lock it down. Now take the screws, get these all started. And the top one. And tighten these down. Now we can put these covers on, just line it up, push it on. This cover is going on. Lock it in place. And the cover up here, lock it down. And put the lock knob on, line that up, push down on the lock, double check, make sure it works. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.